Hey folks, welcome back to Hobby Fist Plays GeoGuessr, the final GeoGuessr video of the year, 2017. One day after my birthday. Happy birthday, me. I know you shouldn't have. Thank you. So, last video of the year. Can we top it off great with the 20,000? Can we at least not get one like I did in the previous video? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Wednesday's, Wednesday's video. It was a hoot. But that's the pass. This is now challenge start. Oh, wonderful quality. Thank you. Probably Australia. So now it's just a matter of hoping to click to civilization. This could be Australia. This could be Africa. If only Toto was here, they'd be able to tell me. I don't know what that weird jump through was. I felt like I ripped myself through the fabric of GeoGuessr. And saw the blackness of... Wait, is this road split? Well. <clears throat> I guess we're going this way. We're going to go... Uh, southwest? Why are you... Why does it do this every now and then? Is beyond me. Uh, ooh, here's a sign of... Well... God damn it. I, uh, the, you teased me with like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can we, can we get? We cannot. Okay, well, I chose poorly. I would have died if this was a holy grail. My face would have turned to dust, and I would have died right then and there. But no one asks. What the liquid tasted like out of that cup. Maybe it was fantastic. So maybe it was a nice consolation prize between not guessing the Holy Grail. But you still die and turn to dust. But maybe that tasted amazing. I mean, I don't know why no one would just go in there with a million cups and be like, oh, nope. Can't have it. Because... I don't really remember much from that movie. I've, I, last time I saw it, I was I was a wee lad. But I feel like if a lot of people were in there and you saw just piles of dust or bodies everywhere, maybe you would hesitate. But I don't. It, it feels like there wasn't that many people who actually got. There's nothing here to. Oh my god, this is. I'm not. I'm not feeling this one now. I don't even know which way we went. Because it's all the same. Well, for, for now, I'm just going to put us somewhere in fucking uh, South Australia. I mean, I don't even, this could be Africa for all I know. I could have already gone down this road and I can't even remember now. I'll know when I get to uh, the end and it's a fork in the road. But there's nothing here. I've already forgot what I was babbling on about earlier. I'm sure it was real important. Carter. Alright. Well, I feel like I went that way last time. Let's go this way this time. There's not gonna... There's gonna... Uh, I can't... I can't say the words to Toto right now. I don't know why. Like, I'm missing like two words to start it off with, but the second like I hear the song, it's like, oh, I can do it just like that, but all right, you just do it yourself. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, keep me away from you. Nothing that a hundred men or more can never do. Because I guess the rain's down in Africa. Something. Things I've never had. I'm sorry. I am tone deaf. I have descri been described as the love child of Hedry Kissinger and... Uh, ben Stein. We're just getting dead ends. I'm frustrated. Make guess. Fine. 1900. One star. What do they call this? Oh, it does have a road. Carter's Road. Nothing lives here. Why bother naming it? Alright, well, this... Uh the dirt road tour of the world continues. Again, this is almost as uh, vague as the previous one. However, 
I think that's a vehicle or a rip in time. Truck, you're in a Zuzu. So, first glances. Again, this could be Africa, this could be Australia, this could be Brazil. I'm finding nothing. I feel like I'm heading towards some semblance of civilization here. They do some farming. That feels like that's a John Deere tractor. What are these plants? The agave? These are aloe plants, I believe, or agave. This could be Mexico, but these also could be those plants that are like, uh, I think I saw it on a Bear Grylls episode where they're super sharp plants, and if you bite just off the tip of one of the uh, leaves, on the edge of the leaves, it's almost like a needle, and the fibers inside the leaves are super strong, you'd actually sew up clothing with it. Again, you can probably Google it and find it. It's like, that's all my memory's good for now. It's just like uh, 30 second snippets of TV shows I've watched 20 years ago or 15 years ago, maybe even 10. I mean, I have not watched much television in the past 10, maybe in 15 years. I mean, I haven't had cable in such a long time. At least almost 10 years now, Jesus. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see something. We are Pofetch Strum and Reton Fen. I feel these are Afrikaans. So I'm gonna put here and see if I can't try to find any of these things. Stellenbach, nope. Vent. I, I'm not going to try to butcher these. I mean, I, I did already, but I don't, I'm not going to try doing it anymore. Grochbersoup. Hope Town. Hey, look. Refund. That refund tem is to the... We are heading... Well, we're in Namibia? Reef Thompson. And where's... Pof I'm gonna put us here. Where's Pofin Stroom? Oh, Reef is to the. This way is south. So they're heading south to Reef on. And where's Plonephone 10? Or Pofit Stroom? That's north. We're heading east. So heading east is gonna. Uh, why am uh, my brain isn't working right now? Why why is my brain brain not work? Brain broken. I'm gonna put us right here just so I've got that. Although maybe we're here. Profit Stroom. Profit Stroom. Heatman Shoop, no. There's got to be a little bit of bleeding over between these areas here, between Namibia and South Africa, as far as what are uh, uh, Dutch colonized areas of South of Southern Africa. Excuse me, I'll make my guess. Well, that would explain why I never saw Pofitstrom. It's way bigger than Rinky Dig Town. I saw it was just the pattern I was going. I wasn't going to see it, but I got the country right at least. Man, I, I really just threw myself for a loop trying to do that compass thing, and it did not end up well. Ah, uh, so this feels tropical. Uh, let's see if I'm going to get the wrong side of the Pacific Ocean this time. Hopefully not. We're going up a switchback because we're going up a mountain right now. Let's, this would be really fun to drive on, although the speed I would like to go on said road. If you actually came across a car coming the other way, you're going to have a real test of wills between either one to see who's going to uh, back up first. Because, uh, yeah, you're, you're, either of you are going to be stuck for a while. And I feel like maybe I'm going the wrong way to uh, try to find something here, but... Let's just go up a little bit more before I decide to go back down the mountain. This just feels oppressively hot 
That view is probably really cool. A little bit claustrophobic. I can just feel the mosquitoes. One of the worst, I believe is probably, you can describe it as Pavlovian responses. I've had, wait a second. What did that thing say on the sign there? All right. This might be Taiwan. This could be China as well. I've been to Taiwan before, but there is a uh, condition response I had. That was I remember I, this this thing is still seared in my mind for, as being a child. That um, this is going to lead to a bunch of other stories. I think at the same time, but for now, I was listening to or listening. I was watching a uh, documentary on PBS Public Broadcasting. Uh, syndicate? Syndicate? I don't know what the S actually stood for, but this could be China. I don't know yet. But one of the things that they were they were showing were mosquitoes, and the way that they were... Uh, they were talking about the seasons, I believe, at the time, and the thing that they were showing to let you know that insect, like the bugs were coming and that there was mosquitoes, is they just showed... A couple of mosquitoes on the water's edge, and then they just played a few mis the audio of a couple of mosquitoes buzzing in your ear. Then it just slowly graduated to like thousands of them just buzzing in your ear. And the entire time I was I was sitting on the couch, my back was doing that weird tense thing. I was tensing up all the muscles. I was getting goosebumps. I felt like I just needed to start swatting every all the air around me. It was it was horrible listening to it, but goddamn, that was it was super effective. I don't know what country this is yet. This could be China. I feel like I keep going up this 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 road here. It's going to pay off, but I haven't gotten anything yet. So I'm going to hit home and go the other way. But uh, 55 seconds. I don't know if I have enough story time for childhood me in the very rural part of the state I grew up in. And you know what? I almost say I want to feel like I've actually been on this road before. No, maybe not. N uh, I have to keep going to see if this goes back underneath a bridge of some sort. No, I don't think I've been. This is probably China. No. I do think I remember how to say uh, police in Taiwanese. I think it's Zishu. It's the only little bit of Taiwanese I was able to remember or pick up. Maybe this sign has information on it. Ah, wow. I just pulled that out of my ass. I did not go to this side of the island, though. I went to tai Taipei. Went to Taichung. And then we went to Kaohsiung. Uh, what was the... I believe Kaohsiung had a giant-ass rubber duck in the harbor. And it was like going on this world tour thing. I was there for Chinese New Year at the time. And if you ever do get a chance to go see a Chinese New Year in anywhere, you know, Taiwan, China, or anywhere, I don't know where else they would celebrate it in Asia. I'm not being ignorant here. Go check it out, because, oh my god, that was so much fun. Wow, I'm surprised I nailed the island. I had really no basis for knowing between the two. I just clicked that. Five stars. Play next round. That was pretty strong. But, um, you can kind of say that about any place, really. Well, actually, I left out a caveat. Woodland Camp, Layman Christ. That I had someone there that was able to show me the ropes. Uh, took me to a lot of really cool ass places. South Troy Wesleyan Church. Is this this feels like maybe upstate New York. Three men pillars of America's greatness. That's a this feels like this could be upstate New York. This could literally be anywhere USA. <laughs> um, I have not seen anything to assuage me. Where any specifically? I'm just kind of 
floored that that little guess between either of those two, um, China or Taiwan, I was able to get it. But anyway, if you go to any that doesn't butcher Belcher Bretcher transport anywhere in the world, it really helps if you happen to know somebody there. Highway sixty three. That's not helping me much. This is no pass zone again. Go to the other country, even if it's only like one person, you know. I, mean, I actually did not speak. Um, again, this is going to be horribly ig ignorant. If, if maybe they speak Mandarin there, maybe no. It's I think it's. it's if I, I'm trying to remember because it's been a couple of years that there is a native language they speak in Taiwan, and they also I do believe speak think they speak. This is junction of. That, uh, the, the, there's too much washout or Wabasha County. That I, I don't know any Wabasha counties off the top of my head. So maybe this will help. <laughs> Camp Victory, Christmas trees. Again, this, this does not help me. That's Wabasha County. I don't know any Wabasha counties. This is Route 63. We're heading north. We're a minute 30 left. I've got... Ooh, ooh, this is probably just adopt a highway for country propane. Man, I've got... I gotta, I gotta click something. I'm gonna just say upstate New York, and I'm probably gonna be horribly wrong with... This could be Wisconsin. This could be Nebraska. I don't know any... Well, I don't think there's a Wabasha County in New York, so maybe I'll put... Michigan. Maybe split the difference a bit. Because I think the only county, and I think every state in the U.S. has uh, a Washington County. Driskowski. Now, if I'm going to be horribly biased, uh, Polish, there's a heavy Polish settlement, settle. Like, a lot of Polish people settled maybe in Pennsylvania, Chicago, Wisconsin. If I'm going to just... If I'm going really on nothing and I'm really just pulling every, anything out of my ass here. I'm just going off Drakowski and saying, hey, maybe that maybe that's uh, northern central America. Because Wabasha County, you got me. So I'm just going to kind of split my difference, put us in southern Wisconsin, and hope for the best. Yeah. Again, I don't know if I deserve these. Because that really easily could have been anything other than what I said. South Troy. Well, yeah, South Troy. There is a Troy. In... And if I don't think there's any possible way, even with 5,000. I, I, we're not getting the dream again this week. God damn it. I thought I could end out the year. A lot of scooters here. They drive a lot of scooters in many parts of the world. Okay. That flag. God damn it, I had this issue before. I believe it's Burma. Or Cambodia. Pardon me, I believe it's Cambodia. I'm going to have a holiday there. Because I've gone to school for a year or two. And I think I've seen it all. I don't know the rest of... Oh, well, I don't know all the words in concession. You'll have to excuse me, Jello Biafra. Rock on Chicago. What was it? Rock over London, rock on Chicago. Snickers, it satisfies. God, what was that guy's name? Uh, maybe this... Oh, we're on a... Sakon Nakon Rajabat University. You tell me anything? Nothing. Although, Volvos make buses, apparently, though. Uh, let's back up a bit. No, bus, you're not, you're going the opposite way. Actually, this might help me. Uh, no, it does not. Let's get to the front of the bus. That's a really fancy ass bus, though. It's gotta be comfy as fuck. 
All right, let's. No one mock. This 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 is not helping. I don't know if anybody here has actually uh, been to or at least seen videos of uh, like traffic in other countries, like this, like developing countries. We'll we'll we'll, we'll put it nicely. And you see how chaotic it feels when you're, uh, when she's painting, painting up a storm, right? How chaotic it feels when you just, or, or terrifying when you just see cars going willy nilly and there's like no lines. It's like, how do they obey the traffic laws? And you see people just walking and they're like, what the hell are they doing? They're going to get hit. There is logic in it. Like the problem you're going to have is if you feel intimidated and you hesitate, because there's an assumption on both ends as as far as you just walking in the middle of uh, traffic like that. That the person driving assumes that you're going to keep your pace and you're going to keep walking. So he's going to adjust for that. And where you get in trouble is if you stop and hesitate because you're panicking because like this car's still coming. What do I do? What do I do? That you just have to commit because he's going to assume that you're committing. He's going to adjust accordingly. And then drive around you, assuming you're going the normal speed you were before. However, wait, is that? That's not the South Vietnamese flag. No, it's not. Okay. So, just a little tip. If you happen to be in one of those countries where it just looks chaotic, I'm going to go back here and head the other way. That, no. You just stick with your normal walking speed. I mean, maybe keep an eye out. Just know that... If they're like every other driver there, they're expecting and anticipating you keeping the same pace you're on before and going to drive around you as such. But, you know, that's the hardest thing to actually. Ooh, what's this say? The Siam Food Products Company Limited. So Siam. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I was I was off by a country. It's Thailand. Oh, that's right. Siam was another. It used to be what Thailand is. Silly me. But strong enough points. I'll give it four stars. I mean, I was off by country because I forget what flag is what. And I really should know that Thailand's flag is actually that one. But I really wasn't off by that much. View summary. So it was a pretty strong average for the. For this set, I mean, I got spot on with that, just kind of out of a guess. But, again, did not get the ever-coveted. It was just this one, because how was I supposed to know that it was going to be all the way over here? There was literally nothing there, and I feel like this kind of one wasn't either. But I got lucky at the end there. But, 2017, GeoGuessr only got, as far as I can remember, one over 20,000. All I can promise you is, in the future, when 2018 rolls around, the first video will come out on the first that I hope to actually start off the next year strong, and I hope you stay with us for it. Uh, again, it, I do have a little um, question, questionnaire, suggestion, idea I would like from you guys watching this, whether or not you like me doing the solo, maybe ch try attempting some other channels, or if you have suggestions... Put them in the comments below. Um, I do this as much as a good mental exercise for me as I do just liking you guys watching it. Um, and if you guys could be so kind as to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff, I do appreciate it. Appreciate I do appreciate it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys watching. I thank you for your time. Thank you for taking the, your time out of your day to watch me. Try for that goal of 20,000. I'm going to get it one of these weeks. Consistent. Or at least two out of three. We'll start there first. But that's it for GeoGuessr in the year 2017. We're going to come back strong next year. And I hope you're there with us. For Evo, this is Greg. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.